Video Boost on the Pixel 8 Pro actually has a pretty big secret. To test this theory I have, I'm here at a little Porsche meetup, a Cars and Coffee on a Sunday morning, something that we typically have here in Southern California. Got a bunch of old Chevys as well. Enjoy. So as you might know, the secret of Video Boost is that Video Boost records a high quality file and then sends it to Google. But what if we could just get access to that high quality video file? The secret is that you do have access to that high quality video file. It's in the file hierarchy system on the Pixel devices and you can just access it through the file management. When we actually examine that raw video file that's getting recorded during Video Boost, it actually turns out to be a 10 bit, 240 megabit per second video file. Video file? Video file. That's better than my Sony a7 III and a lot of other mirrorless cameras. Okay, sitting down here at my computer, I'm in the Lumetri color panel. This is where I do all the color correction. This is an example of a clip that I've applied what's called a LUT do. It does some of the math so that when you are filming in a logarithmic uh, or logarithmically compressed color profile, it moves it back to normal. And if you guys can see over here on the right-hand side of the screen, when I turn this on, this changes and that goes back. Now let me contrast that with just a regular clip that I have. And as you can see, all of this color has been expanded. You can see where it's too bright here on my chest and you can see all of the different parts of the image being represented here in this color chart. Now, if we try to use one of these logarithmic conversion LUTs, we end up with a very, very ugly image that doesn't look right at all. That's because this is already in the Rec 709 color space. When we go here, you guys can see gray washed out, S-Log2, and now this looks, this actually looks really good in my opinion. We can now clearly see how Video Boost works. Google is recording the highest quality possible in a logarithmic profile from the main camera. They're then uploading it to their servers to color gray stabilize, and then enhance audio along with some noise reduction and maybe a couple of other tweaks. It's clear why Google has chosen this process for their video boost. It's what the pros do. In the field, we don't want our cameras to do any kind of color interpretation or color grading when we're recording in the field. We don't do any kind of audio processing. All of that stuff is left up to be done to either editors or people like myself sitting in front of a computer. Google has now automated a lot of that stuff online in the cloud with machine learning and their Google Photos servers. Only get a 1080p file from Video Boost, which is a big downer. The reason that Google's probably doing this is because if you record in 4K and then export in 1080p, it allows you to cover up a lot of noise because you're having to downsample every four pixels into one pixel, which means it's pretty simple to remove noise when you're downsampling. Now, this is in quite a stark contrast to what Apple's done. With the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro Max, you're able to record uncompressed log footage to an external SSD. Do I want that necessarily? No, but I would like the ability to record in 240 megabits per second log video files in 10 bit on all of the cameras to be able to edit them myself and not have to pay for Google storage. But at least now you know how Video Boost works. <laughs>